Want to get a weight on it? Give me a second. Because of how fat it is, we're going to zero the scale if I can get it turned on, but because of how fat it is, I'm going to go ahead and say that's a four pounder. It's short, but I'm going to say that actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and clear the scale and I'm going to change that. I'm going to say 314 just because it's only about 16 and a half, 17 inches, 16 and a half inches. You got three pounds, three ounces. Three, two, three, three. Here, put them on your scale. I believe you. I believe you. dirty but it'll be all right oh yeah dude they're fat because what actually happened is he caught the first fish. I caught one that I wasn't recording, got the two. Now he's on to the next one. Rowing the Thunder Cricket, and that's another two and a half, three. Hold on, just. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zero the scale. Uh, get a look at the fish. Go ahead and zero the scale. Uh, the fish is actually a little skinnier than I thought, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that's two pounds, 10 ounces. So we got two pounds, 12 ounces. Nope. 212, two, 213, two pounds, 13 ounces. So fat over here. Hold on. Look at look at that, dude. Yes, they are. and zero the scale I'm gonna say 210 two pounds 11 ounces 
211. Oh yeah, it is. That's a monster. Oh yeah. Got it zeroed. It's gotta be. Just give me a second. Four pounds, two ounces. Four pounds, two ounces. Let's get another look at a picture. Hold on. It's short, but it's so fat. You could tell by how it was fighting, couldn't you? So one thing I had to do is I had to take a minute and step out of the wind and talk about the tackle. We didn't talk about the tackle, the rods, the reels. It was blaring wind. And it's funny because as soon as we got out there, you know, I had already kind of knew that I wasn't going to be able to get a video due to the wind. I mean, I, I could. So that's why I put together some fish for the video and now we are here. So I do apologize for that. And that is something that you do not see often on the channel is wind that's so bad that you just, yeah. Anyway, so what we were doing is we were throwing the Strike King Thunder Cricket, of course. Uh, we had the black and blue with a black and blue Rage Craw trailer. And then at, at the part in the video when, when he said he was at the disadvantage, what actually happened, and this is something cool that I wanted to show you guys, is he took a green pumpkin, because he didn't have another black and blue, and he put a black and blue trailer on the green pumpkin. Kind of like I've told you guys in the past about how you can mismatch and mix up your trailers and all that. Well, the black and blue on the green pumpkin did as good, if not better, than the black and blue with the black and blue Thunder Cricket. But anyway, it is the half ounce size. Uh, I was fishing mine on a 7'4", medium heavy power, moderate action rod with a 6 gear reel. And it was it was getting down into the weeds, and that's kind of where the fish were. Um, we, we caught some fish. There was actually a few that I didn't get on camera because, like I said, it was just so windy and stuff. But that was what we were doing for the tackle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I do apologize for that. But again, do me a favor. If you guys enjoy the videos, especially the ones that I've been coming out with over the winter and this year so far, now that spring is coming, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. Comments will help the interaction and the algorithm for the videos on this channel. I mean, I know it sounds cheesy, but it is the truth. And another thing too, make sure to check out the fishing videos in the end screen. And I also left cards. I'm going to leave, well, I excuse me, I left cards for smallmouth bass videos throughout the video. So check those out. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got more content coming, more fishing videos, tackle, you name it. Just kind of taking my time with the uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you, and I will see you next time.